I hope you're all succulent and everything's worked out lovely and rosy for you. Um, now, this is where I want to pull over, isn't it? Yeah, just scooch in here a minute. Look at this, a used car lot in Essex. <laughs> what am I doing here? What I wanted to pull over here for is to show you two things. This is the first thing I wanted to show you. It is the Rom Skate Park. And it is a very famous skate park in skate parking terminal terms. It, it was started in about, oh, I don't know, 1977, 78. I'll show you an aerial shot of it. <laughs> This isn't the oldest skateboard park in the UK. The oldest one is in London. It's down on the South Bank. That's quite a well-known one. But this one got recognised, the only one to be recognised by um, what they called uh, Historic England or something like that. It's it's significant skate park because it's um, a complete skate park in, in the classical design. So it's got all the things you need. The bowls, which are called, I think they're called moguls. And uh, the swimming pool thing uh, it's got all that half pipe and everything and it's covered in shot concrete you know the smooth concrete so it's it's like a perfect example and um, the buildings and that they caught fire in 2018 and then it was shut uh, for the coof so they've had a really difficult time of it anyway I thought I'd show you that um, hidden out here in Hornchurch in Essex yeah but just through here is something I think is a bit unique in the country. There is the B-roll crew. They have their own minibus. I'm the only one roughing it out on the bike. Well, until the helicopter comes and picks me up. But here it is, the Thunderdrome, otherwise known as the Cardrome. It's about the only off-road place that I know of where you can you can ride about or drive a car. And people come here to learn as well, but uh, you don't need to have an instructor with you. I think you have to have a qualified driver with you. Now, I, don't, I think it was opened in about 1955, which is a hell of a long time ago, because um, according to the history books, even the smartphones back then were black and white. And Pathé News, a famous black and white film news gathering information service, they made a film here in about 1964. And they showed young Jimmy, I think in an Austin, uh, being taught how to drive, because back then they also had a skid pan. Here's a 12-year-old called Jimmy Whiteley who's being shown into the driving seat of a car for the first time in his young life. Just see how he manages out on a murky, greasy surface where control really counts. But the place has got uh, a roundabout, it had traffic lights, road signs, it, you can do hill starts. It's a very gentle hill, but you can do them here. So it's quite a good place to have uh, to come and learn. Here's a quirky thing, right? You can only get in by paying the coin meter over there with pound coins. And it's 20 pound coins for you to go in. And it's open from about, oh, you know, nine in the morning till about nine at night, quite a long time, or six in the morning, uh, 20 pounds. Yeah, self tuition. <laughs> and there's a training place there. Oh, we're going to see someone pay. Look. <laughs> a little bit of a correction. I just was taking some B roll and having a look at the, at the signage. And you can't take a motorbike or a, a scooter in there unless you're on a course. So you can't just rock up with your bag of 20 pound coins and pay and drive around like a hooligan because I believe people with uh, my attitude have done that before and spoiled it for everybody else. So on that bombshell, I think I will end it here. Thank you ever so much for getting this far. And I hope at some point you might come back and watch another one of my videos if you get time. But for now, stay succulent and have a lovely time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait for this hand. So I'll say cheerio. Bye bye. Oh, he took that one a bit sharp. Oh, no, I'd fail him for that. I'd fail him for that.